Okay, this is going to be the final time we take this one in class, solving linear equations. All these you're solving for x. That's your end result. So I circle my equals. I drop it. Cover your x with a 1. You don't have any minuses. That's a negative already. And I only have one box, so I get this negative 10. So I have plus 10, plus 10, 1x, 8 plus 10 is 18. I don't need to multiply, and we just have a 1. So there's the answer. Okay, next problem. Equals, drop it. Your x is covered. You don't have any minuses, so it's time for the box. Okay. I don't have anything outside the box here on this side, so I don't need to add or subtract. I just need to divide by the negative 3. So that's x. 42 divided by negative 3 is negative 14. Remember, don't plus 3. That's in front of the x. It's connected to the x. So, Okay, next, circle your equals, drop it. Your variable's covered, plus negative. And then you don't have any parentheses, so you box him up. Forget him. Looks like I'm flipping you off. Okay, so I got this 8 outside. I need to minus 8 and minus 8. 13 minus 8 is 5. And over here we got negative 5x. Now it's time to multiply or divide. They're not going to multiply. We're just going to divide. So it's negative 1 and that's x. So x is negative 1. Okay. Okay, a lot of people are not uh, screw this one up. Okay. Well, your variables are covered. You make plus negative on the 16 and plus negative 8. Okay. So there are no parentheses, so I box them. Now, are they on the same side or are they on opposites? They're on the same. So don't plus 8 plus 8. Don't do that. Okay? You just take 5 plus negative 8. If they're on the same side, you just add them together. Okay, what else I got over there? I got a negative 16. And over here I've got negative 10. So the negative 16, I got a plus 16 and plus 16. So I've got negative 3 times x. And then negative 10 plus 16 is 6. Then it's time to divide. And 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. Okay, next problem. Equals. Cover your variable. Make that plus negative 3. Now before we box, we've got to get rid of the parentheses with the rainbows. Okay, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5x, negative 5 times negative 3 is 15, and then over here you got negative 25. Okay, so box that up. You only have one box. That's good. Outside you got the plus 15, so I'm minus 15, and I'm minus 15. So I've got negative 5 times x, and that's negative 40. So now I undo the multiplication of negative 5 by dividing. So I get x, and that's going to be 8. Okay, equals, drop it. Cover your variables and make that plus negative. Okay, you got to do your rainbows on both sides. So 7 times 1x is 7x plus 21. 6x plus negative 18. Now box your x's. This time they're on opposite sides. So if they're on opposite sides, you pick one. I'll pick the 6x. Minus him, minus him. Remember, you do this if they're on opposite sides. Not if they're on the same side, though. So it's 1x plus 21 and negative 18. Okay, now you got the 21, so you got a minus 21. So I got 1x. Negative 18 minus 21 is negative 39. You don't even need to divide because it's just x. Okay, next problem. Strip your equals and drop it. Cover it with a 1 plus negative. Again, you don't want to go to your boxes yet. You got parentheses you got to get rid of. So it's negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6. And then over here is negative 2x plus 6. Okay, now here's my equals. They're on opposite sides. So they happen to be the same, so I get rid of them entirely. 
And then 6 is equal to 6, so that's all solutions. Anything you put in for x is going to make that side equal to that side, is what that means. Okay, next one. Equals drop it. X's are all covered. You got a plus negative 4 there, a plus negative 3 here, and you got to do your rainbows. Okay, so negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Now we also have a 6x here, so I got to put that down. And over here, you got negative 3x plus negative 4. Okay, so I've got three x's I need to box up. Okay, well first let's get them so there's two x's by adding these two. So negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3x plus negative 6. Then I go to the ones that are on opposite. So I pick one, but they're the same. They're exactly the same, so get rid of them. So is negative 4 equal to negative 6? No, that's no solution. Okay, backside. Now you're gonna have to do some multiplying because you can see the x is underlined. Drink some water there. Okay, equals drop it. Cover your x with a one. Make that plus negative. So it's negative one. Now you put a box around the whole thing. Now only one box, but outside you got a seven. So first, before I worry about that four, we gotta get rid of the seven. So I minus seven. Minus 7. So negative 1x over 4 equals negative 1. Okay. So now I go after this number. All I need to do is multiply that to the other side. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Now I can divide. So that's 4. Okay, so after I move that over, I go after this number by timesing it to the other side and then dividing by the front. Okay, next problem. Negative 4 fifths times x equals 20. Okay, so by your, at your equals drop it. Variables covered by a negative 4. Um, you don't have any minuses, so make your box, the whole thing. Okay, is there anything outside that box that you would have to add or subtract? No, there's not. Okay. So now what I do is I times the 5 to the 20. That's 100. And over here you got negative 4 times x. Now you divide. So that's x, and that's going to be negative 25. Okay, story problems. Some college friends rent an apartment. They have to pay the landlord a $500 security deposit. Rent is $1,100 each month. Tenants gave the landlord $2,800. For how many months did they pay forward in rents? We're finding the months. Well, we're going to need that. We are also going to need the line because it is not direct variation. Then we're going to need the equation. Now, the number I plug into the equation is the last number, so $2,800. Okay. So what do I have underlined? I've got dollars and I've got months. So that's x, that's y. So per, dollars per month. How many dollars do we have every single month? 1,100, okay? Each month means it happens every single month. So 1,100. And before the 1,100, I can clearly see we have 500 here. So my equation is I had to pay $500 plus 1100 I don't know how many times I paid that, so x, because it was every month, and then equals y. Okay, 2800 is that x or y? $2,800. I think that's y. Okay, so that goes in for y. Okay, then we need to box him up. Get rid of your 500 so I get 1,100 times x, and over here I get 2,300. And I divide by 1,100, and 2,300 divided by 1,100, 2, so 2 months, so x is 2. 
that than the other one. Pristine Printing will charge a $15 setup fee and print business cards for $10 each. The printing place has no setup charge, but they offer business cards for $25 each. What number of cards costs the same for each printer? So we're finding the cards. We want to know when the... And um, there's no really final number. And you are going to need the line here because it's not DV. So what do I have underlined? I've got money and cards. Okay. The last sentence doesn't have a number. There's a reason for that. You're not going to put a number in here. So that's X and that's Y. So per. Dollars per card. Okay, well, dollars per card. How much does a single card... That's what that, what that means, how much does one card cost? Well, that's 10 cents. But there's another cost for a single card, which is 25 cents. So since I have two different ones... We're going to need two lines here. Put the zero in. Okay, so my M's, I got 10 cents and 25 cents. Don't just put 10 and 25. You got to put 0 0.10 and 0 0.25. Okay. Now, before the 10 cents, we had $15. So $15. And before the 25 cents, I don't have anything, so that's a zero, okay? It's not DV, though, because I did have one that started at something other than zero. So I want to know when these two things are equal. So when does this catch up to this? So one line, we got 15 plus 0.10x. The other line, we don't have anything to begin with. We just have the 0 0.25, but I don't know how many times that happens. So X, then I do my boxing, okay? Opposite sides, so pick one. You want to pick this one, because if you pick that one, you're going to end up with an empty side. You don't want that. So I get 15, and over here I get 0.15x. And then we divide by 0.15, and I get x over here. And 15 divided by 0.15 is 10, okay? So 10 cards.